Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you one of the many things I do to amend the soil in my vegetable garden. So let's take a look at the garden before we start. So here is one half of my vegetable garden. It looks quite a bit different than the last time I filmed a video here. We have cleared out about three quarters or half of the garden. The other half is still a wild mess. And now we're ready to start amending this soil with all of the ingredients that are currently in my compost bin. Before we dive into our compost bin, we're gonna start with digging a trench. I like to call my method of I like to call my method of fertilizing the garden and amending it to trench composting. So let me show you what that involves. So we're gonna just start by digging the biggest hole or trench that we can possibly dig. Right now, I'm looking to go deep as opposed to wide because we're going to make a, we're going to be making a whole bunch of trenches in this section of the garden. The soil is actually pretty nice to dig in right now. We had a major rainstorm overnight or early morning, and everything is dried up now. But it's got just enough moisture to make it fairly easy to dig. So here is the first trench that I have dug. It's sort of a medium depth. I dug basically to the point where my garden soil meets, you can see a little worm there, um, the point where the garden soil meets the native hard pen or clay soil. You can see the color change in the soil there. That lighter colored brown soil is extremely hard and difficult to dig. <clears throat> I could get out a pick or a crowbar and <laughs> attempt to dig into there, but at this point I have no good reason for doing that. I'm not planting any big trees or anything here, so I will leave it for now. But if I was planting something deep, I would probably get out a pickaxe and get into that soil. But we are going to fill this trench with ingredients from my compost bin. So this is where things are going to get a little bit messy. So you may want to click off this video if you don't like gross things. So here's my compost bin. It's a hot mess. It's overflowing. The upper sections of it don't really compost properly because I don't turn it or do anything fancy with it. I literally just dump stuff into it. The lower section actually composts pretty perfectly. The last maybe quarter or two thirds of the bin, you will see if we get that deep, you will see it's actually really beautiful compost, but the top part is pretty much not compost. Like it's composted ingredients, but it's not really composted. But that's okay because I put them directly into the soil of the garden and over the fall and winter by spring they will be all composted. So it kind of, I let mother nature do the composting for me. So let's go right into this bin and see what's going on. My supervisor is here and eagerly awaiting the compost bin deconstruction as he is hoping to have a snack from some of these not so pretty looking things that are in there and i am definitely not going to be encouraging this type of behavior from this supervisor man so let's take off the lid and we are going to slowly dive into it so the top part just looks exactly the way you see it there's a bunch of old plants 
plants, grass clippings, branches, they have not fermented at all. And we're just gonna start putting them onto the ground to start. And then I'm gonna try to deconstruct this a little bit. It's pretty full, so it's not gonna deconstruct super easily, but we'll see what we can do. So here's a look going a little further into the compost bin. You can see some actual vegetable scraps and kitchen waste starting to decompose. I can see a worm. I'm not sure if the camera is capturing it, but we're getting a little bit further into the yucky zone, but there's much more to come. So now I'm going to start taking some of the contents that are currently in the bin and adding them into my trench that I just dug. I could, in theory, take this apart, but the reality is I don't have a strong enough muscles to do this and it's a little bit heavy, so I just have to dig into it first and then I'll be able to actually take it apart. So let's create a bucket of compost waste to fill my little trench with. So we have about a bucket of composted materials or semi-composted materials and we're going to add them into the trench. And we're just gonna fill it up with different layers of this type of material. So let's take a look. So here we are back in the garden and I can tell my supervisor is getting into trouble so I might have to give him a little bit of a discipline session before I start adding materials into the trench. Zipper. So we're going to start adding our composted materials into our trench. I don't know how well the camera is picking this up. So I'm just going to spread them out. These materials are just semi-composted. There's a lot more breakdown that needs to happen, but it has started for sure. And then I'm just going to step on them so that I can add more soil and more material on top of this material. So I'm just going to gently put a thin layer of soil on top of the composted ingredients. And then I'm going to add another layer from the compost bin and just keep layering it up. So here is the next batch from the compost bin. We're getting into the much more nutrient rich broken down material. It's still not fully composted, but let me give you a little bit of a better look of what the actual composted material is looking like. So here's a closer up look at the material. I don't think the camera's picturing it, but there's a bunch of different insects and wormy like things, caterpillars, all kinds of pieces of nature are decomposing this composted materials. So this is what makes good garden soil. Just putting all of your yard waste and kitchen scraps and all of those types of things back into the ground is how you're going to really enrich the soil. So this is part one of probably going to do a part two or three of other methods I use to enrich my soil. So let's just finish 
here. All I'm going to do is cover this back up. So here's my trench all covered up with some garden soil. And I am going to go ahead and do that with the rest of the garden. I am not going to show that all in this video, but over time it is all going to be trench composted as well as my wild garden over there. But we're going to wait for the squash to ripen before we dive into that section over there. So I'm probably going to be doing a part two and maybe a part three about how I amend the garden in the fall for the next planting season. So you'll want to stick around to see other special ingredients that get added into this back garden. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy garden videos, golden retrievers, fairy gardens, you may want to subscribe to this channel for more garden fun. Have a nice day.